Here I'll look at a simple but important identity in probability. For two events A and B in a sample space, the probability of event A is equal to the probability of the intersection of A and B, plus the probability of the intersection of A and B complement. This is a special case of the law of total probability, and it comes up in applied probability problems and can be helpful in the proof of some concepts. Here's a Venn diagram representation of a sample space with events A and B. A is represented by the circle on the left and B by the circle on the right. Recall that B complement is everything in the sample space that is not in B. Here, B complement would be represented by this green region. B and B complement are mutually exclusive events that together make up the entire sample space. If we go back to A and B, the overlap of the circles represents the intersection of A and B. The part of A outside that intersection we might call just A, and it is the intersection of A and B complement. In other words, the intersection of A with everything outside of B. Similarly, the region that is just B is the intersection of B with A complement. If we isolate A, we see that A is made up of two regions its intersection with B, and its intersection with B complement. So event A is the union of those two regions. And since those two regions are mutually exclusive, the probability of A is the sum of their probabilities, the sum of the probability of A intersect B, and the probability of A intersect B complement. This is true whatever the relationship between A and B. If A and B are mutually exclusive, like in this plot, then A intersect B is the empty set, and so the probability of A intersect B is zero, and the probability of A is equal to the probability of A intersect B complement. If A is a subset of B, like in this plot, then the entirety of A intersects with B, and the intersection of A and B complement is the empty set. The probability of A intersect B complement is zero, and the probability of A is equal to the probability of A intersect B. And if B is a subset of A, like in this plot, then A intersect B is the same region as B, this blue region, and the intersection of A and B complement is the green region. And once again, the probability of A is equal to the probability of A intersect B plus the probability of A intersect B complement. In all of these situations, the general case holds, of course. The probability of A is the sum of the probabilities of these two intersections. Now let's work through an example. Suppose the probability of A is 0.3, the probability of B is 0.6, and the probability of their intersection is 0.1. And let's say we need to find the probability of A given B complement. I think it's usually easiest to solve this type of problem by illustrating it with a Venn diagram, but let's work through the formula first. By definition, the probability of A given B complement is the probability of the intersection of A and B complement divided by the probability of the event we are given, B complement. The denominator is easy to find here, as we're told the probability of B. But some people might find the numerator a little tricky. We might think of trying to use the multiplication rule, but that just leads us in circles here. We need to find the probability of the intersection another way, and it's very straightforward if we keep the rule we discussed today in mind. Since the probability of A is equal to the probability of the intersection of A and B, plus the probability of the intersection of A and B complement, the probability of the intersection of A and B complement is the probability of A minus the probability of the intersection of A and B. And we have these probabilities, so we can easily work out the final answer to be a half. But when faced with this type of problem, people often find it easier if it's visualized through a Venn diagram. If we were to attack it that way, we draw out the plot, write in that the probability of the intersection of A and B is 0.1, and the probability of just A, which is the intersection of A and B complement, must therefore be 0.3 minus 0.1 or 0.2, and the probability of just B, which is the intersection of B with A complement, must be 0.6 minus 0.1, or 0.5.
the sum of these three probabilities is the probability of the union of A and B, and that's 0.8. So the region outside the circles, the complement of the union, has a probability of 0.2. And since we're asked for the probability of A given B complement, our sample space gets reduced down to B complement, event B being completely eliminated, leaving us this green region. If we're in this green region, what is the probability that we're in A? That's the probability of this part of A, 0.2, over the sum of these two probabilities. That works out to 0.2 over 0.4, or a half, just as we got with the formula.